Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh! Um, guess who just walked in the building? Two uh, of my favorite people, Pump and Dump. <laughs> the Pump and Dump Show, they're touring now. Um, new book, though, parent- new? Yeah. Parentally Incorrect. Hi, Shana Firm. Yes, ma'am. I can't pronounce anything today. Tracy T. Here I Hi, am. Hi, guys. How are you? Good. How are you? Congratulations on this Be fucking here again. Oh, I know. Thank you. Thank yesterday. You. It came out yesterday. It finally it happened. so good to complete something. It does. It was like a tough labor, man. But it was. Yeah, it's our, it's our it book, out. baby. <laughs> <laughs> what is it about? Tell people. So it's um so at our show the pump and dump show we uh, one of our segments in our show we uh, ask moms we pass out cards before the show and we ask moms to write down the most fucked up thing their kid has ever done, and they write down their stories and then we read it off later on. And this book is a collection of five years worth of cards that we've collected. We picked our favorites. Yep, from moms all over America, and it's actual photographs with their real handwriting of stories about true tales from real moms about the effed up things their kids have done. I love it so much. Can I read some? Some of these things Please. on this page. I've oh, had a- is that the awesome moments? Uh huh. <laughs> That's these- another game from our show. Yeah. Awesome moments. I've had a cocktail during bath time. Who hasn't? I've used a baby wipe on my own genitals. <laughs> I borrowed. Who hasn't? A- right. I borrowed a diaper from a stranger. Guilty. Um, I've laughed at my kid while they're crying. Crying. I mean, guilty. Um, I've blamed a fart on my kid. Uh, what, why else do you have children? I, that's why I carry my dog with me everywhere. Um, your dog is a real kid. I can't even deal with your I'm dog like, right DJ, now. DJ, oh my God, we're on the airplane. I'm like, I'm I so was gonna sorry, say, my dog. Oh my dog. The <laughs> only reason you should fly with kids, because then you can just throw them under the, on the plane. I used to do it to my mom in stores, even though I didn't fart. I used to do it. I'd be like, Mom, you're so embarrassing. You're farting. And she'd be crying, <laughs> laughing at me. She's like, oh my God, you've been doing this to me forever. Um, I've it. hit my kids on a door jam or ceiling. Oh my god! Well, it. hit their head. Yeah, like oh, not actually just hit my kid. You know, we don't hit our kids. It's just that you know, like when you're you're like doing a ten thousand things, yes. you got a kid on your hip, and it's that like hollow thunk, yes. like on your way out. And you're like, so oh. sad. Or I'm so sorry. I've, I've done the clipping of the nails and taken oh. off half the finger. Oh uh, yeah. I don't do it. My husband does that. I cannot. I cannot clip nails. <laughs> you're not crafty. <laughs> no. I've stolen. She's not precise. I've stolen money from my kid's piggy bank when I didn't have cash. That's my all my girlfriends. Yeah. Yeah. They're I, constantly stealing. I do kids. that for the tooth fairy. She I had did to do it twice. Twice. In so one my week. daughter. My daughter <laughs> lost one tooth one week and then the next tooth the next week and we had to dip in to her own bank to her own bank nobody keeps cash around the house I mean yeah <laughs> I could Venmo her some money kids, <laughs> if we should put it, start a Venmo for kids no a, a tooth fairy Venmo this is what I know you pay the kids so. I've been holding my baby at the same time was looking for my baby guilty and also my neighbors never talked to me again because I was holding a beer in my other hand <laughs> and <laughs> I was just standing there on the street like, where's Bo? Where's Bo? And then realized um, in my hands. And sorry, gulp. Uh, can you see? Because now that I have this little dog with me, uh-huh. I can see how easy it is to forget a baby. Oh. Like, I've, I have I literally was realized. I'm like, because we're so ADD. Uh-huh. That that I mean I've driven away with a gas pump in my car three times in oh, my God. lifetime. I've been on the yeah. highway and people going honk honk, and I'm like, people are really recognizing me today. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're like really feeling yourself. I'm like super famous today, <laughs> and there's a fucking gas pump tank sticking out of my car. Oh, oh my God. But I can see like how distracted we are as mothers that you can like, especially we if you have more than one kid. Yeah. Well, we were just saying like that first grocery store trip when you aren't when you got to like leave your baby at home for the 20 minutes, yes. right? I remember being there and being like, where's my baby? And and then realize. Oh, sorry, I just scared your dog with oh, that. Right. I'm sorry. Look at her. She, uh, <laughs> she gave you the. She's like, like, she side eyeing like, Shay now. Down. She's like she totally t- side eyeing Shay right now. She's she snapped with her paw. She um, yeah, no, I. <laughs> I, that's that panic. It's, it, there's so much going on in your brain. And that's when, I mean, I literally will put my car keys in my refrigerator sometimes, especially, you know, when we're writing for the show. So it's like you're being a mom and you're working and you're, and then you just are like, why is, I can't, why is the, uh, what did I put? Like the soy sauce in the cupboard the other oh, day. Yeah. You know, you, you just, know how many yeah. times I found my iPhone in the refrigerator? Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. What the fuck is it doing in the refrigerator? Yeah. I remember in the early days, my daughter, um, we, I was like feeding my daughter, you know, when you saw the spoon feed your kid and she was hungry and I was so tired and, you know, thinking about 10,000 things that she was like asking for more food and I just patted her on the head. 
<laughs> like Mindy. I just was like, <laughs> you're, yeah, Come on, you're like, you're done. You're like, good dog. Good. Oh my god. <laughs> Here's your food. How, how old are the kids now, you guys? Uh, mine are five and seven, and my daughter's seven. Oh, so they're perfect age to still write about and make fun about without them knowing and hating you yet. Right. Sure. They they really don't know. They they saw us on TV yesterday and they were just more excited. They're like, you gave the audience a book. Yeah. We're like, yeah. That's, that's exciting. No, they're they're great. Yeah. yeah. Just wait because Evan did the old um, texting me and said. Um, I need to talk to you because I just Googled my name and I was like, Oh no. Oh no. Right. And I was like, oh, Okay, we'll my have that talk. God. And it's not just like, Oh, I'm telling stories about him, you know, shitting in a public place and what did sure. I do? No, it's his whole journey. It's his whole journey. And I'm like, Oh my God. Yeah. So that was a, um, a conversation that I wasn't ready to have. So be ready for when it comes. Well, luckily at the Pump and Up show, we um, we don't. It's funny. It, our show is really based on like the things that we all have in common as moms. Okay, so, so we relatable laugh. humor. Yeah, so we laugh about the things that we all. <laughs> and I did do. write an entire song about how I want my son to be gay. This is true. You didn't. Um, that's true. I did too. Because I just will hate his wife. I literally it's wrote never gonna work out. somewhere that I was like, we could shop together. Sure. Well, I just don't want another woman. It's like, this is never going to happen. Like, <laughs> she's never going to be okay with me. No, you know what? You're right. And, and usually, um, like, my first mother-in-law, I couldn't stand. I still mm-hmm. can't stand. But I was like, I think, and I literally threw her out of our house um, with her suitcases, like, flung them like discs in the driveway. I was oh, like, no. get out. So I know karmically... This is going to wind up happening. Oh, sure. <laughs> yeah. I just don't, I mean, I just, I'm, right now I'm the woman and it's like, he wants to marry me right now, you know? Right. Like, that's yes. what a five-year-old boy is and you, you just, I can't even possibly imagine. I mean, I always say, like, I want my daughter to grow up, um, I also am fully aware I'm ruining the world, but I want my daughter to grow up and be president of the United States and I want my son to grow up and snuggle with me when he's 50. Yes! Like, equal successes to me. Like, I, equally I get that completely. Successful. I used to sing a song with Evan, like, Evan Asher, Evan Asher, will you marry me? And he'd go, yes. And now one day, I was like, Evan Asher, will you marry me? And he goes, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> also, I just Googled myself and I'm really bitter. <laughs> yeah. And I but can't you're like, that's why everyone's honking at us, honey, on the right, street. Right, it's right. actually, you're, we're very famous. <laughs> you know what I told him? I said, listen, someday, because he was like, are all those books about me too? And I'm like, uh, yeah. Oh. And I said, listen, I promise you I'll let you write anything about me when you're older. I mean, yeah. fair enough. Right. You would too. You would, you would do that. Of course. I'd be like, let me help you monetize. Make fun of me all you want. Talk about the green shit I used to make you drink. Sure. <laughs> all the shit. What have you guys learned just from this whole experience about motherhood and parenting? You know, gosh, th- this has been a really long journey. We started this show five years ago in a bar in Northwest Denver, and then now we tour the country and meet moms everywhere. I and it. I think we we've really learned like that what we all have in common the most, besides the fact that we are all raising humans, and that's why we call our affectionately call our audience breeders. Like if you're raising a human, you're a breeder, right? And we doesn't matter how you got your human, yeah, right like, like adoption, adoption IVF, like you're a breeder. Just don't steal so, a baby. Don't steal babies. <laughs> so when when we talk about you know. Be, all being in this room together, the energy and the things you learn about each other are so important. And the, the most, I think, like overarching theme is just that this shit is hard. Yeah. And so it's okay to feel, you know, like it's hard. And that's what Parentally Incorrect in this tour is called Parentally Parentally incorrect as well, and the book's called Parentally Incorrect because, like, especially in this day and age with, um, you know, how like fucking Instagram's ruining everything. Yeah. Like, you know, like we love you, Instagram. Follow us on Instagram. <laughs> um, <laughs> At the Pump It Up show. 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 Uh, but, you know, nobody's actually perfect. Like, nobody's perfect. No. And so that's what's so great about these cards, because the moms wrote, like, real things that happened to them, and you just don't feel so alone, because everyone's kid is more fucked right. up than yours in some way. So when I, when I see some of these, like, celebrity moms that are like, so this is how you can, like, take some crafts and recycle them. Oh, my and God. These, I go... Are you fucking kidding me? Who has time to do that? And who's right? taking your picture and who got you dressed? Right. You, you just That's spent four hours on your makeup and right. you yeah. have four children? Like, how? Bad moms. Oh, no. well, I mean, no. it's great if you have help. And we if don't, that's their job, that's one thing. Know, we aren't physically capable to actually put on that much makeup, so we will never take those <laughs> pictures. But, you know, I mean, everyone, but that's the thing about parental incorrect, too, right? Like, everyone parents in the way that's best for them. I mean, like, what you do is totally different than what she does. And, those things are never going to like marry. Like moms aren't going to just 
collectively make all the same decisions raising children. And we all make bad decisions or we make decisions in the, in, you know, in the thick of it that we think are right. I mean, right. that's been happening since babies were born. Like Mary, you know, had her baby sleep in a barn. Like everyone's trying to do the best they can. <laughs> do the best we can. You know? <laughs> that's true. <laughs> you know, thank I mean, God we've gotten along. <laughs> yeah, since then. So. You guys are playing somewhere tonight. Oh, well, you know, the weather is so beautiful. We actually ended up having to cancel. Canceled. It got canceled. <sighs> but I, we um, have a giant tour over the rest of the country. Yes. We're going to be in Milwaukee on March 23rd and Detroit on March 24th. Seattle, Portland, Dallas. Um, we have our Denver. huge Mother's Day Eve show at the Paramount in Denver. Um, we're, gosh, that's, yeah, go to our Minneapolis. Our, Minneapolis. Where else are we going, Kate? Uh-huh. And, yeah. I so, love it so yeah. much. And you can go to the Pump and Dump tour. Is, what is the website? The Pump and Dump Show.com. Yeah. But the Parentally Incorrect is out now. Yes, it came out yesterday, and it's already, like, doing great on Amazon. You guys can yeah. find it right there. Did you guys self-publish? No. No. No, HCI published oh, the book for us. I know, girl. We had a real baby. <laughs> we had a baby. No, it's great, and we, uh, you know, it's perfectly sized to like stay in your closet and slide under your sweater um, yes. stack, so you can just like have a glass of wine and read it when you just can't deal anymore. Well, I like that it's one of those just open up. You can read something and then close it right away. You don't have to like commit. Oh, oh it's, it's so not, fun. Yeah, and the, can we read we, some of the cards? Yes, to you? please. Yeah. Okay, I'll just gonna read a couple from the book. Um, my three-year-old pooped outside and used the end of the garden hose to wipe his ass. I know this is a gasp. You will gasp I at some more. of these. You gotta read okay. More. okay. My four-year-old son barged in the bathroom just as I got done putting in a tampon. He saw my string hanging out and screams, "Mommy, a mouse just crawled up inside <laughs> you!" <laughs> Wait. Oh my god, that's so. You can't write this shit. You cannot. That's oh. why it's so amazing. That's why I feel like uh, we'll read more. But like, it just shows that parents all like we're all in this together, man. We like, really are. you know. Keep going. Um, he pooped in the bathtub, picked it out, and left it laying on the soap dish for his dad to reach for later that night. <laughs> oh, my God. I love Which, it. Which, if you've ever, like, had to remove a piece of poop from a bathtub, like, you know that feeling. Totally. And you're never going to forget oh it. No, never. Here you go. My six-year-old daughter said, Mama, I know what I'm getting you for your birthday. Me. What? Daughter. Proactive for your face. <laughs> <laughs> Kid's an asshole. <laughs> Kid's an asshole. Evan said one just once to me, he's like, um... Wow, why why are you a mom that has fish gills on her cheeks? Oh, jeez. Oh, I was like, oh. they're called wrinkles, Evan. I'm not a human. Fish gills. <laughs> and you oh gave God. them to me. Yeah, they're all from you. I'm like, I'm never also, laughing again. Also, P.S. You don't have wrinkles. Yeah, by the way, yeah, we're in the you. we're here Thanks with you. You and your, your blue hair gosh. look amazing. amazing. You look Thank fabulous. You. You're so funny. I love it. <laughs> this is a creepy one. This has quotes around the first part. So, quote: Pop Pop plays trains with me. Unquote. And then she writes: Pop Pop has been dead for a year. <laughs> Oh my God, it's so I love good. that one so much. It's one of my favorites. And the book is interspersed with, like you saw, the awesome moments. We have three rounds of that kind of game. It's kind of like a mom's night in. We realized our daughter was too old to be showering with her dad anymore when she looked directly at his penis with a disgusted face and said, I sure wouldn't want to eat that for breakfast. Oh. I mean... <laughs> oh my God, Either agree. do I, baby. Yeah, do no, I. honey, just do, you, do it and move on with your day. What do your husbands say? Oh, well, they they love the book. I mean, yeah. who wouldn't? Yeah. Um, you know, it's so funny that you asked that question because we get asked that question a lot. And Damn it. Well, no, the, I mean, it's a really interesting question when you're like women comedian on yes. on the road because we're always like, well, do the male comedians get asked the same question? Like what their wives think about what they exactly. do? Exactly. Yeah, and like, the truth is, you know, like what does your husband think about what you do? Like we have, we're working moms like everybody else and our husbands, we're really lucky because they're super supportive. Thank God. And so thank yeah. God. And that's another thing we learn on the road. I mean, it is hard for people to... Raise humans and raise humans be and, have, and and you know have supportive motherfuckers. We call them motherfuckers because they fuck mothers. That's how we um, all got here. That's our term for dads, affectionately. Um, I love that. And so sure. you know, now you know the proper way to use I it. Am. I'm going to tell Donnie. Hey, Donnie, you, he's your fucker. Yeah, he's a motherfucker. We have motherfucker beer koozies. Yeah, um, oh, we should have brought you one. So good. Yeah. yeah so I, they're you know they're great. I'm so proud of you guys. Really, it's such a gr- I love seeing women do their thing, and you, you guys know. figured it out and making people laugh and making people. people normal it's a real it's a great possible. it's a great freaking job we'll we say that but it's been a real pleasure to just meet moms across the country and we're just grateful to be on tour and we're so excited for the book and are you hitting chicago at all we've been to chicago a lot actually it's not in this tour but Probably maybe in the, the fall. fall okay you good. have to come and like well bef- come on my show before and yes. then we'll promote with, it and then would love to yes I, love it too. I do my show to chicago there too so oh that's great so promote it there we could you could come we'll have you yeah. as a guest you could play a game one of our games with us like yeah. dump the breeze 
later, like, cervix, cervix says. says. We play a game like, called Cervix Says. What does Cervix family says? <laughs> it's, so we just say things. So it's like you guess the most popular answers, you know, like family oh, feud awesome. style. Yeah. And then mainly we'd created it so that I could just be on stage and go, Cervix Says. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me so happy. Um, so it's an interactive show with people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, it's you know, music. 90% of it is Shay singing, you know, original music and songs that are all funny and it's kind of like a late night talk show for moms so there's that. games there's prizes there's music there's it's not about us it's about giving moms an hour and a half with nobody touching their boobs oh, basically. yeah basically what a night out yeah it's, it's like the best mom's night out oh yeah. i love it congratulations you guys pick Thank up the book you. parentally incorrect it's available now everywhere yes Your books are sold it's a great gift <laughs> for any mom <laughs> go to the pump and dump show.com for tickets and more thanks so much girls Let's take a fucking Thank sexy you. picture. Let's yes. we're gonna yes. airbrush the shit out of. Yes, <laughs> Jenny McCarthy show. Oh.